Okay, so lighting is one of the coolest things that uh, Max can do and one of its most powerful features. Uh, but it doesn't have to be hard. It can be super fun and super easy. All right, so here's my office scene with no lighting. Here it is with lighting. What a difference, right? Here's my church scene with no lighting. Here's my church scene with lighting. Like, you know, wow, quite the difference. Alrighty. So let's take a look at the office scene. Not hard to do. Like I say, so best place to put lights on is in your top view. So I'm just going to go to my top view and things are frozen. That's good because when we're putting in the lighting, it makes it a lot easier if things are frozen. Okay. So in your command panel, you're going to be something like this here, right? You're over here and you want to go over to lights and you want to make sure that you are on standard lights. And we're going to put an omni light and I'm just going to put one right about there and I'm going to get my move tool. I'm going to shift copy this right over, get it about in the center. And I'm going to make a reference of it because I want it to change everyone to change with what I do. And we'll make two copies, giving me three lights. All right. So if I just look at one of these guys, one and two, three, and we'll go to our front viewport here, raise that up about there, and over here to our Modify tab. Anyways, if we just look at one of these, one will change them all. So first off, let's go to uh, our camera view and we will take a render and see what we have. And there we have light, but it's very bright and no shadows. So we're going to turn on the shadows. Also, we're going to change the uh, the decay, because remember, light light fades as it goes away, to just inverse, inverse. Now let's see what happens. Well, there it is. I think that's about about as natural as it gets. Really, um, we've got nice shadows, break up from the three different light situations in here. Very natural, and. Uh, the, the fact that we have more than one light has softened it, so I'm not even going to play around with these shadows. Like I say, it can be easy. Um, my lights already happen to have a little bit of softness. I was messing around with them earlier. Instead of it being uh, just a harsh white light. So yeah, all good. Alrighty, so now let's take a look at the church. It's going to be slightly more complicated than this, but not a whole lot. Okay, well that looks pretty nice. Looks complicated, doesn't it? It's not really. Okay, we're going to go to our top view and I'm going to make that roof disappear. I'm also going to make sure that uh, the other things are indeed frozen. That'll make it a lot easier so I'm not uh, accidentally um, selecting other things. And okay, so with that, let's go ahead and get rid of the lights that were there and now we'll go ahead and recreate them once again in my command panel over here to where I've got the lights make sure it's on standard I've got an omni light and I'm going to put one light right about here okay I'm going to shift copy it over And I'm going to make a reference of it so that they will all be the same. I think I'll need about uh, six of those, if I'm not mistaken. All right, looks pretty good. Let's make a few little adjustments here. Just move that over. Move this one over. Move this one. And. There, good enough. 
and I'll take these guys here, shift copy them right over here. Once again, reference. And now I'm going to make sure I've got all these guys. Oh, let's go, uh, was it left? Yeah, that looks good. And we've got all those selected, so I'm going to raise them up. Okay, and back to my camera view here. Put my roof back on. Now let's take a picture. Well, let me see. Before we take a picture, let's let's put all the settings back to where they would have been. Okay. So we take a picture. And oh my goodness, look at that. We have got the light there. Oh, and by the way, um, this is lit right here in such a way because the material itself is self-illuminated. I'll make sure I'll show you that one too. Okay, so let's see if we've got these lights, Omnis. I'm going to turn the shadows on. I'm going to change this not to inverse, but to inverse square this time. And you'll see... You'll see that the, uh, the the light is much more concentrated, that it decays much quicker than it did before. Okay, so that's looking pretty good already. But the only thing I might do is warm up that color just a bit. And let's try that one more time. Ooh, that's nice. Look at what that color does to warm it up. Very, very nice. And also, it changes, whenever you add color to something, it changes the amount of intensity. So the light got a little bit more dim, the more color that there is in there. Okay, well, that looks pretty nice, pretty natural with these lit. Now, let me show you how I got these stained glass windows to look as if the light was coming through them. Alrighty. Basically, it's just this. If I went to one of the materials, and I can pick any one of them, you'll see right over here in the parameters that you're used to that the self-illumination, which was before at zero by default, I just brought that all the way up to 100, something you can just play with. And so it will, no matter how dark it gets, the, uh, the material will then be bright. Here, let's see if I can show you that. So if I was to bring this light all the way down to like, oh, I don't know, like 0 0.01, like barely any light at all, what would that look like? Oh, it looks kind of cool, actually, doesn't it? And you can see that it's the actual material that is lit up. Um, not by way of light, they don't cast light. It just, it's just that it, it basically ignores the light. And it says here, I'm just going to be, you know, fully bright no matter what. Anyways, so I will leave you with that. That's kind of a cool picture right there. Um, when you are done, when you are ready, then what you would do is go ahead and check your render setup. Make sure it's all good. Okay, go ahead and render. And when you're ready, save. Let's see, libraries, T drive, art, and period one. And you'll be in the project to see my scene three. And you will save it as. Of course, your last name. Your first name, 
your period, my scene, three, as a JPEG. All right, well, that's all there is to it. So have fun.